Do you suffer from chronic fatigue syndrome? Or maybe you just have insomnia? Or you might have trouble getting to sleep, but you're not able to stay asleep? Does this sound familiar to you? Have you been to a sleep clinic before? Do you use a CPAP machine, one of those machines that kind of help you to breathe at night so that you're able to sleep better? Well, if this is you, then I can help. And so can my team. My name is Dr. Ilya Skolnikov. I'm a diplomat of the International Board of Applied Kinesiology. I'm a functional medicine doctor. We use naturopath, no, excuse me, we use naturopathy in our office. We use homeopathy, herbs and nutrition, energy medicine, traditional Chinese medicine, psychotherapeutic therapies. We do all types of right-left brain balancing. We deal with uh, phobias. We deal with all kinds of learning disorders, spine disease. We deal with uh, chiropractic care. We do all these different things and we are specialists at addressing the underlying causes of people's health concerns. And we do this with therapies that are specific just to you. There's no cookie cutter system that uses the same protocols for everyone. We treat each person completely differently because the causes of your difficulty sleeping are completely different than whatever causes someone else's difficulty sleeping. How could they be the same? I mean, you have different parents, most likely, unless we're talking about a brother or sister of yours. You've had different life experiences. You've had different things that were traumatic that caused you to have difficulties. And so, with this in mind, of course, whatever's causing your trouble sleeping is gonna be different than what causes other people's trouble sleeping. And usually there's only about five, maybe seven or eight different things that cause people to have trouble with sleeping. One of them is that they could be extremely toxic and those toxins are poisons and they cause pain and inflammation somewhere in the body and that inflammation interferes with proper liver and gallbladder function. And so at the time of the liver or gallbladder meridian, which is between 11 p.m. and 3 a.m., the person has trouble sleeping. That's one possibility. Or they may have a toxic colon. And that means that they'll have trouble sleeping between 5 and 7 a.m. Or they might have a, tr a dysfunctional thyroid, meaning they can't even get to sleep properly between about um, 9 and 11 p.m. There's a variety of different things. So there's toxicity that's possible. There's different types of toxins. There's heavy metals. There's the toxins produced by different infective agents, by different types of viruses and parasites and amoebas and protozoas and um, mold, yeast, fungus, candida, um, bacteria, different kinds of viruses, proviruses, virins. So these things are all taken to, into account at our office. We don't just take into account these type things, but we also deal with any kinds of emotional trauma that the person might have experienced that led to them to have trouble sleeping. Many people who have ADD or PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, attention deficit disorder, or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or obsessive compulsive disorder, or bipolar syndrome, these are people who have trouble sleeping very often, not always, but very often. And we are, again, we're specialists at addressing these underlying causes of sleep disorders. And we wanna help you. We wanna help you because you deserve to be healthy. Nobody else is really getting to the underlying causes of your sleep disorder. They're just treating the symptoms with a CPAP machine or a medication or a new prescription drug or a new procedure. God forbid they actually do something crazy like try to do an episiotomy or do a surgery near that your head. You don't want any of that invasive, dangerous procedures or medications that are so toxic that actually cause, don't even get me started. I think that what you'd probably want if, if it were me and what I chose, I chose the more conservative care like herbs, homeopathy, nutrition, things that have been used for hundreds of thousands of years in some cases, um, or at least more than a thousand or two. So thank you for watching, and uh, if you're wanting to get started and started sleeping better, um, 
get started with care and be able to sleep better, all you need to do is fill out your name and your email over here. There's a, there should be a little arrow that leads you to a box where you can start to enter your name and email. It should be over there. Maybe it's over there. Maybe it's over there. Maybe it's over there. But that's all you need to do. And then we'll uh, start the process. It's a real simple process. And we're looking forward to meeting you in the office. Thank you.